All right, welcome back to another video. So in the previous episode, I did mention something about a mute command, but I completely forgot about the timeout feature that is uh, practically brand new in Discord. Um, so we're just going to use the timeout feature instead of having to set up the old traditional mute command because that's going to require us to create a role, set permissions, and that's a lot more work when we could just use a built-in feature that pretty much does what we want. Because if you time out a user, it essentially just stops them or restricts them from being able to send messages in the chat as well as being able to use the voice channels. So we'll just use the timeout feature. So what we'll do is we'll go inside our uh, Discord bot project and we're gonna first go into the, uh, the types.ts file. I'm gonna change it from mute to timeout. And I'm going to go ahead and just copy the kick command. And I'm going to go ahead and just simply create a command called timeout command.ts. And we're just going to do the same thing that we did uh, where we copied the band command, replaced it with all the kick stuff. Here, we're just going to replace all the kick stuff with timeout. So we change the timeout command, change this to timeout. Okay. Um, and then we're going to change the type to timeout as well. Okay, awesome. All right, and also, oh, instead of member.kick, it's just going to be member.timeout. We are going to need to modify the uh, the arguments that we pass in timeout because it takes a number uh, as the first parameter, which is the, the amount of time that you want to time the user out for. So to actually get the timeout, what we'll do is we'll set up our command to take in an extra parameter, an extra mandatory parameter. So it's going to look something like the, uh, the uh, whoops, uh, member id and then the timeout and then reason and the reason is obviously optional it's gonna look something like this okay so for the timeout uh i'm just gonna make it so that we have a i'm just gonna make it so that it's just gonna expect a number in seconds so for example uh we'll just do something like you know the member id and then something like 60 for 60 seconds and then the reason uh spamming so something like this okay um, something that you could do is you could add like a suffix like S, M, or H. So S would be seconds, M would be minutes, and H would be hours. And you could do that. But I'm just going to leave it so that we expect seconds all the time. So if we wanted to time the user out for, let's say, uh, five minutes, it would be 60 times five. So it would be 300 seconds. So it would look something like this. Okay. But I encourage you to, uh, to you know, modify this on your own. But I'm not going to get, you know, too fancy with this. So what we're going to do is let me just comment this out because it's giving us an error. Uh, so what I'm going to do is on line 18 where I have this array destructuring. Uh, so we're going to take in a second parameter, which is going to be the time. Okay. And the time is essentially just going to be the second parameter or the second argument all the time for the command. So when we do array destructuring at the second uh, parameter over here in the second element in this array, we can just do timeout like that. So the first element is going to be the member ID. The second element is going to be a timeout, the, ti the time out in seconds. And then rest is just going to be the reason, okay? Or all of the arguments that go into rest are pretty much the reason. Okay, so now that we have timeout, so currently this is a string. Um, what we could do is we could do some validation at least. So for example, we can do something like if uh, is nan parse int timeout, we can throw an error, or we could just return, you know, like return message.channel, send invalid time, something like this. Okay, so if we send something like, you know, like, like a letter, it should result into uh, not a number value. Let me just let me try console logging it. Okay, uh, however, if it succeeds, then we should continue. So let me go and try that out. So if I do timeout, one, two, three, spamming, invalid time. If I try to do something like uh, 10s, so it seems like it parses it. So it seems like it was able to parse it, I think. So it seems like if I do 10s, it was able to parse it to 10. So that's at least somewhat good. What if I did something like 10s with a bunch of s's? 
would that do? I think that would still that would still give us the at least the the uh, the, the numeric portion, which is good. Okay. Um, so what we'll do is this. So let me go ahead and do const. Uh, I'm actually going to do this timeout. It's tr. Okay. And I'll just pass time because this will be. Uh, wait, what's going on here? Oh, whoops. We already parsed it already. Okay. So that way I can just reuse this variable. Okay. So if uh, if this statement, if this condition is false, then it'll go down over here. So now that we have time, uh, what we can do is, let's see. So timeout takes a number in milliseconds. So because we expect seconds, uh, what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to multiply seconds by a thousand. So we'll go ahead and do that. So time times a thousand. And we'll pass in the reason. Okay. And it seems like that's uh, pretty much all we have to do. So let's try this out. So let me go get my ID. So I want to time the user out for 10 seconds, or let's do five seconds. Spamming uh, text and voice channels. So I'm not sure if, uh, seems like everything went well. I'm not sure if I can, uh, let me see my other user account. So let me go and copy this, paste that in. Okay, yeah, so it seems like it is, in fact, timing out my account, which is good. If I go into the database, you can see now in moderation logs, uh, we have two records for timeout. Okay, and I think that's pretty much it. So, uh, yeah. So whenever I use this command, it times me out for five seconds. So let me go ahead and see if I can show that to you on my other Discord account. So, let me, hold on, give me one second. Okay, so you can see over here, it says I'm timed out. In a couple seconds, it should remove that. Okay, pretty cool. Let's try for a longer time. Let's try uh, five minutes, so 300 seconds. Okay, so you can see it says we're timed up for five minutes, and we have the timer down there. Pretty cool. Again, I didn't even know about this feature at all, and I can't even join the voice channel too, which is all right. Awesome. So if we look in the database, you can see we have more records as well. Pretty cool. So uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. We uh, This is actually a lot more simpler than setting up a mute command. I personally like this a lot. Something that I will encourage you all to do is make it so that you can specify, uh, like, like for example, seconds, minutes, or hours. So for example, you can do something like 30S, 30M, or 30 uh 30h so for example 30s would be 30 seconds 30h would be 30 hours and 30d or 30m would be 30 minutes and then 30h would be 30 hours that's something that i would encourage you all to figure out uh i think there might be libraries that exist that allow you to format that like format the prefix into a correct time but i'm not going to worry about that for now because i don't want to take up too much time of this discord bot tutorial so what we're going to do in the next episode is we're going to go over to the Nest.js API and we're going to set up an endpoint to actually fetch the mod, the moderation logs. Okay. And once we do that, we're going to go back to the React application. We're going to fetch the mod logs. And essentially what we did on the front end to prepare the data for the guild ban, we're going to do the same thing, but for not just only guild ban, but we're only going to, we're first we're going to do it for guild kick and guild timeout. And I'm going to render the graphs on this page. And once we have done that, we'll slowly migrate from guild ban to, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll migrate guild ban so that it's combined with moderation log. Okay. So thank you for watching and I'll see you all in the next episode. Peace out.